Hi, I'm Juan Martinez, and this is Hard Work, More Money. Ask for money and get advice. Ask for advice, get money twice. I'm from the dirty, but that Chico nice. Y'all call it a moment. I call it life. All right, everybody having fun? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. You're excited, right? Yes. Okay, good. Well, thank you guys for being here today. There is a big, big difference when you have a sales force that comes together in unity, okay, on a daily and weekly basis versus a sales force that has no connection with their team members, right? It makes a world of difference. If we're going to be number one, we have to be close, we have to be strong, we have to work together. A sales force that spends time together throughout the day has, in my opinion, about a better opportunity to succeed. You have the opportunity to share ideas, you have the opportunity to work together, the opportunity to mastermind, which I know a lot of you do, the opportunity to build your skill set, you have the opportunity to do all these great things together, okay? Makes a big difference. It is no fun being a lone wolf in this business. It is no fun. Okay, I was, uh, I was alone for 10 plus years. And the reason that I was is because I couldn't even find the environment that I was looking for, okay? We were in two different environments for a short period of time and it didn't work. We were repelling to others, right? What we did. In 2003, we went out and created our own environment, okay? We had no other choice. So we created our own environment. <clears throat> so it is, it is great, and by the way, our own environment was in the next building over, right? So it's great to see the energy and the enthusiasm, okay? The participation that we, that we see, but most importantly is the collaboration amongst each other. So we are very grateful for all of you being here every Tuesday morning, and we assure you that it's only going to get better, okay? So we're always working on how to improve. Let's talk today for a moment about the topic, which is self-accountability, okay? I believe that we have to create some accountability on ourselves in order to push us to the next level, okay? self-accountability to get us to that next level. It is too tough to be successful in this business when you have no accountability from someone else or especially when you have no self-accountability at all. Think about what I'm saying. There is a difference between accountability and there's a difference between self-accountability. I personally prefer self-accountability. So what is the difference? The difference is when you have one person who's holding you accountable, okay, to your goals and plans, okay, but they're not that motivated to hold you accountable. I have a lot, I've had a lot of accountability partners across the country over a 12 year span. I have accountability partners today, okay, but when they don't hold you accountable, it really doesn't work all that well. Right? That's just accountability. Accountability from others. With self-accountability, which is what I did my whole career, is telling the world what you're going to do and then do it. That's self-accountability. Telling the world what you're going to do and then do it. See, I believe that you have to constantly sell yourself on ideas, your plans, your goals, in order to grow each and every year. Right? When you're growing, it keeps you young, keeps you excited, okay? It keeps you vibrant when you're growing. Telling the world what you're going to do will create massive accountability for yourself, right? Telling the world what you're going to do creates accountability on yourself. I did this my whole career. In 2003, I designed a small 1,300 square foot office, right? Right in the next building over. Okay, I designed it 
to do 500 deals. That was my vision at that time. 500 deals, how many people do I need, how much staff. I made my calls, I talked to my coaches, broke it down, I traveled, and determined what was it going to take to do 500 deals. Now, at that time, we were only doing 100, 125 transactions, okay? <clears throat> so, we built it out. We designed it. We went over it. And each year, I kept selling the staff on 500. I kept selling my wife that we would grow and build it to 500. I kept selling the team members on 500. I had to sell Iris on 500. I had to sell my coaches that we would grow and talk to me about 500 because I had to create a belief system. See, I told the world that I would do 500 transactions, right? I wasn't shy about it. I told the world about it. Eight years later, through self-accountability, we closed 584 transactions in 2011. Eight years later. See, even through the deepest recession the market could provide, it couldn't break, it couldn't, it couldn't snap, it couldn't crack the foundation that was built through self-accountability. The foundation was solid. How do you create self-accountability? You, how you do it is by telling the world what you're trying to achieve. You tell your family what your plans are, what your goals are, what is in it for them, why, what, why are you doing this, okay? Putting it out there, posting your goals on your workstation, critically important, right? That's telling the world. You don't have to say anything. You're just saying, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 50 closed transactions. I'm going to do $300,000 in income a year. I'm going to take 50 listings a year, and I'm going to take one listing a week. And I'm going to work hard until that listing gets taken for the week, right? That's self-accountability. Somebody's saying, hey, did you, on Friday, did you take your one listing for the week? No, but I'm going to work Saturday and Sunday to make sure that that happens, right? Posting on your work workstation places that you want to go, things you want to buy, when it is that you want to achieve your goals, okay? Critically important. Place your daily schedule on your workstation. Give a copy to me. Give a copy of your schedule to your spouse. Telling everybody what it is that you're going to do. Give your schedule to a few people around you so they are aware of what time you want to show up and how you want to be held accountable. I seen some accountability yesterday there in the executive level. It says something like, you know, no interruptions uh, during the money hour, right? <laughs> you two back over there, yeah. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so I, I love that. that that's self-accountability, right? I, I would even take it another notch. Okay, make it more specific. No interruptions from this time to this time because I'm prospecting, right? So if I say I'm prospecting from 9 to 12 and that's my money hour, no interruptions, then you have to be there making the calls because whoever walks through, they're saying ah, they're not prospecting. That's self-accountability, okay? Letting everybody know what times you're on the phone is going to create high accountability for yourself. I'll say my biggest concern, I've shared with Elizabeth, about our executive level associates who, who do an amazing job selling across the hall, is now that they're over there, okay, and they were here in the past. Here they're doing absolutely amazing. They're doing amazing right now. But here there was some form of accountability, right? <laughs> I didn't hold them accountable, okay? It was, it was just self-accountability created on themselves. I think Brian, is Brian here today, the poor? Is he hidden there? So <clears throat> typically Brian, if he didn't show up on Friday, told me, hey, I'm not here because of these reasons. I didn't ask him to do it. It was just self-accountability created here, okay? So <clears throat> if there's less accountability over there, could that affect the production. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But let's make sure, okay, 
we collaborate to keep the accountability high through self-accountability. So for all of us, okay, so for all of us here, who's holding you accountable? Ourselves. Okay, are you holding yourself accountable? Who's watching you? Who's, who's watching you and what you're doing? Who's tracking your numbers? Does anybody track your numbers? Who's tracking them? Who knows about your goals in your plans? Who knows about them? Who knows how much money it is that you want to earn this year? Who knows about it? Okay? Do you have a plan? And if you do, are you keeping it a secret? Okay? Or are you too shy to tell the world? If you want breakthrough, if you want breakthrough, self-accountability is the answer. So let's do it and let's make it a powerful week. Thank you. Call it a moment, I call it life.